Okay, this is a short video actually of demonstrating what's the difference between two magazines, uh, 308 from MDT. Uh, one is the original uh, 308 magazine. Uh, uh, this is an MDT magazine uh, for 308 or uh, standard action or small action. Uh, this one, as you can notice here, has a, uh, a front uh, binding plate which is in the process of making the magazine. They put this plate uh, to enforce it in the front. Now that will reduce the, uh, the length of the maximum cartridge overall length um, to 2.8 uh, inches, which is maybe uh, is enough for a 308 bullet in a, in a 308 case. However, um, a rifle like a 6.5 PRC rifle and this one is a custom uh, build. I did it myself. And this is a, a Hornady uh, match box. And uh, those are actually my uh, reload, actually, but I wanted to try them because they are a bit longer. Uh, and, the, and also the, uh, the Hornady uh, match bullet are also uh, long. And this is what, 147 grain. ELDM, I believe, but this one is uh, a burger uh, 153.5 grain bullet. And as you notice now, uh, since is that this is a, a, a standard action or small, uh, small action uh, chassis, um, and this is the action, of course, I believe this is a model 10, um, old style model 10 uh, with a large shank for the, for the barrel. Um, this will accept uh, the the magazine with a with a binder, but it won't accept a, the new magazine without a binder. Uh, the new MDT magazine uh, is a bit longer; can accept up to uh, 2.960 uh, uh, of an inch, uh, 2.860, and as you can see now, uh, this will uh, hit. Uh, the ramp on the uh, chamber um, from the bottom uh, and all what I have to do right now is remove the chassis uh, go to the uh, um, go to the chamber uh, ramp and just to file it a bit from the bottom side to make it a little more space and of course I'll be using a Dremel tool rather than just, just in a file uh, to get the well quickly done okay in the next video uh, i may share with you guys uh, how to do it thank you for watching like and subscribe to my channel if you want thank you